All right, you ready to make some content? Good buddy. Okay, you don't have to face us, that's fine. The witch is back. Hello my pretties, my name is Christy and I am a witch. Yesterday was the full moon, so today I just want to do a little tarot reading to look at the moon phase ahead and then also uh, just talk about the full moon a little bit. Super cash, super casual video. Thor's gonna take a nap in the background and Marilyn wants nothing to do with this. Although you can watch this video, I think probably during any moon phase in the future for context, um, Yesterday was June 14th, 2022. We had a full moon in Sagittarius. It was a super moon. So uh, you can totally do this tarot spread at any point in time, uh, but just for context. Before any reading, I like to do some kind of cleansing and because I am a classic lazy witch, I do the knocking method. I like to do it nine times in sets of three. Nine is three times, three times. So it is a magical number uh, for a lot of people, whether it comes to uh, maiden, mother, and crone, past, present, future. It really depends on your personal preference. Um, but for me, I just like to work with nine. You don't have to. Where are you going? Stay here. I've got a really garbage drawing of this spread. Um, I will mock up a nicer one <laughs> before I show you guys it. You can also do this during any moon phase. Just adjust the um, upcoming moon phases accordingly. While I'm shuffling, let's talk about the full moon. So I posted a dumb little TikTok uh, <laughs> about forgetting the full moon and about feeling tired and not putting it together. Um, if you wanna follow me over there, you can. And if you don't have a TikTok or don't want to follow me on TikTok, you can follow me on Instagram because that tends to get a lot of my regurgitated TikTok content. So anyways, I posted a little um, video there and I had a lot of people asking why do we feel tired or drained during the full moon. So a couple of reasons for that could be uh, light. Having more light in the sky keeps our brains more active, keeps our brains more conscious, especially if we are looking at it or looking for it. Gravitational pull could be another. Full moons and super moons uh, can affect the tides and they also affect people who experience uh, menstruation. Bye, Thor. From a witch perspective, full moons are this energetic surge. It's a recharge, it's a reset. So it's just a lot of energy going around. We want to charge all of our stuff. We want to be um, actively releasing things, but we are also um, experiencing all of that energy and experiencing all of that reset happening that um, sometimes we just feel drained. A couple of people said in my comments that they felt more energized during the full moon. Um, so how it affects you may vary, but if you are one of the tired ones, welcome to the club. <laughs> so I'm going to start pulling cards. Um, we're going to start with this moon. I pulled uh, the Knight of Wands for this moon. Next, I'm going to make kind of a ray of moonbeams uh, that will reflect each of the next upcoming moon phases. You can do as many as you want, but I kind of just touch on four major aspects of the phases because they have the same themes. When you are waning, you are sending away. When you are waxing, you are bringing things towards you. First, we're gonna go with waning. This card is going to represent things that you should reflect on or things that you should release. The new moon phase reflects what you should renew or what you should begin to start looking into. The waxing moon phase is what you should grow or what you should attract to you. And then four is full circle, the next full moon, the next reset. It's usually for finalizing things or releasing things. Now you can stop there and just read with those cards, but I'm gonna go a little bit further and we're going to have th this ray up here reflect back. So um, the card that is on top will be a reflection of the card that is on the bottom, if that makes sense, I'll show you. The card that is underneath of the waning moon phase are challenges. What is potentially blocking me from 
releasing this or uh, what is a challenge that I can't overcome while I am reflecting on um, what I want or what happened in the past, whichever my focus is. Since new moons are for renewal and new beginnings, this is going to be um, where do I begin? How do I start? If this is what I need to begin, how do I start to begin it? The waxing moon is for growth and attracting things, but I want to, for this card, have how do I move forward? Because it is about growth, it is about expansion. I want to know how, after I've begun, what is the next step? And for the full moon, what is the future potential? So this is what my uh, moon phase ahead tarot spread looks like. Working a spread like this, um, it does not have to be exactly this one, but working something that works with each phase or works with each working that you want to uh, work with um, is actually really great. So I have this uh, moon phase planner that I have listed in my Etsy shop. Let me see if I can get it to focus on that and not me. I will put a picture of it there. Um, I work with this and then this together. So when I have done my tarot spread and my reflection on what should I grow, what should I do, what should I uh, release, um, how do I move forward, I can now apply this to my moon phase plan. If you are like me and you need to jot things down to remember them, this is a lovely way to do it. So for this full moon, I pulled the Knight of Wands. This is a perfect card for this full moon because it was in Sagittarius. And this is a very fiery Sagittarius card for me to have pulled. I myself am a Sagittarius sun, although I do not come off as it apparently. This is actually so perfect. The Knight of Wands is a um, action card. It is a um, get out there and do it. Be fearless, just go for it. Um, the knights are also sometimes messengers. They could be telling you to just go, just do it. And because this full moon was in Sagittarius and it had such a creative go for it energy, um, this is a perfect reflection of what we just experienced. And we're going to move to um, the waning moon. Reflect or release the king of pentacles. For me, I would read this as the king of Pen pentacles is something to reflect on because I don't want to release this. This is a, a good goal. Um, being someone who is a stable, somebody who's successful and secure. And this is where the challenge card comes in. So this is what could be blocking me from reflecting on this. The Four of Cups can be very um, disconnected or disinterested, but it also could be someone who is very reflective, someone who is deep in thought and is trying to consider their options before they move forward. Point is, this card is what is challenging or blocking this card. Next up, we have the New Moon. So I actually pulled the Queen of Wands reversed for the um, renew and begin section. Um, you don't have to read reversals for things like this um, because when you are talking about what should I begin and then you get a reverse card, sometimes that can be hard to interpret. Now let's take a look at our where do I begin card. Uh, we pulled the eight of swords reversed. These two cards together, I feel like it's telling me a story of needing a new perspective and maybe that is what I need to renew or begin. I need to find something to be more um, excited about working on. I kind of, I see this as kind of someone who needs to find drive to move forward. Reading me to a filth on my own channel. Now core cards could represent people in your life or people that you will encounter, of course, but I barely leave my house. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that these are referring to me. If you would like to interpret this for yourself, please let me know in the comments below how you are interpreting these cards. I would be super inter interested to know if you as a community are getting a, a sense of a vibe off of this. So again, I pulled the Page of Pentacles reversed. Um, this is so far a very interesting spread for me because I feel like these two cards. During the waning moon, I was ref I'm was i going to be reflecting on how I want to get to here, but during the waxing moon, where I should be growing and attracting things, I am stuck dealing with 
being here, which is kind of, this is kind of a daydreamy card. Maybe I am fantasizing about getting here. Um, so let's see what our uh, how do I move forward card is. The six of pentacles. How do I move forward with generosity? Maybe I will find a way to move forward by helping others. I am here and I need to renew myself to be here. I need to get myself a new opportunity, a new dream to focus on. I need to go to here. This is how I'm gonna move forward. I'm going to uh, focus my time during this phase with um, taking care of others and doing it from a place that is not for me. Um, I think that that's, that's actually a great way for me to grow. And what's fantastic about this is when we get to the next full moon, we've got the sun card. This is such a happy, lovely, lucky card. It is telling me that I have uh, succeeded in my goals for this moon phase. And my future potential is the queen of cups. Someone who is going to be more emotionally balanced, um, someone who's going to be more grounded in their um, feelings of, about their goals. It seems to me like maybe full circle for me is going to be getting to here. So that is just a sample reading of um, how you could do a moon phase spread and um, work this into your moon phase plan. Like for example, when I get to the waxing phase where I'm trying to grow and attract things, this is telling me that something that I should incorporate is focusing on maybe charity, maybe some volunteer work in order to grow myself as a person. Of course, you can do a reading like this with more of a specific focus. Maybe it's on a relationship or on uh, career goals or on spell workings. I just wanted to show you kind of a general reading so you can see what this looks like and um, how you can incorporate it into your practice. So yeah, that was just a quick little reading. I hope everyone had a lovely full moon. If you're watching this far off into the future, I hope that you have a lovely day or weekend, whatever it is for you. And I hope you got something out of this video. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.